in Calbayo. Using corporate tool is a very important thing too for for local chief executives to be reminded of. It's like basically running a uh, a company, but instead of selling products, you're providing services to the people, encouraging investments and all these things. So we focus on the poverty problem rather than uh, putting up a new city hall. <laughs> uh, we felt we'd rather focus first in addressing the poverty problem. Since we were the poorest city in the country, we had the most number of people living below the poverty line, something that we're not proud of, of course. And we were financially challenged, brought about by a good number of things. And uh, it's like joining a company that's about to get bankrupt. And uh, being able to reverse it, uh, after within six years, we were cited by the AIM as one of the most competitive small size cities in the Philippines. And uh, after uh, another survey was conducted by the NSCB, we were out of the top 10 poorest, and we recorded the highest reduction among cities. So we graduated the uh, class valedictorian in reducing poverty. It's not an easy thing to do. It's data-driven, science-based thing. And uh, a shared vision is very important. It should not be the vision of the leader. Uh, I, I can imagine it's the same kind of challenges that uh, uh, the general had faced. Could yeah. you would you buy cuento sa amen kasi fifth class municipality kayo na iiba talaga. And that was the same strategy that yes. you had employed, yeah. the poverty focused mm -hmm. development strategy. Yeah in a fifth class municipality yes. and island municipality pa yeah. kayo yeah. which contributes to the challenge but that's because of my training in the military uh, i have to know the situation and the situation is we have three major challenges one is uh, challenges on the health second is on the livelihood and third is on the values of people mindset of people and of course our uh, resources is we have blood, people, and water. And so, knowing the situation, we, we've got to have our goal. So we set up our vision and vision. And our, uh, and this is a true consultation also with the people. So having the mission and vision, setting up the goal, we identify our uh, mission as to uplift the quality of life of families. Because that is the very basic uh, uh, element of the society, the family. And our vision is to have a maganda, mapayapa, maulad, maganda, at masayang bayan ng alabat. And later, as bayan ng Diyos. And having this goal, and knowing the situation, we put up our uh, programs. We put up the four pillars uh, to attain our mission and vision. And that is uh, improvement of the health situation, uh, improvement of the education, literacy, and spirituality of people. And the third is uh, livelihood, improvement of the uh, uh, quality of life of the people ha to, have, to address poverty. And the fourth is peace and order because critical elements in development is peace and order. And in addition, uh, we have the cross-cutting concerns, and one is um, transparency, particularly in financial. Another one is uh, excellence in public service. We have to bring our services closer to the people. The third is uh, we have to address the, we have to make use of the private and public partnership. We've got to engage uh, the outside world. We've got to engage the companies to help us because uh, without them, the, the government cannot do everything, especially in the, the, in the uh, economic side. It should be the private sector who should take the lead. Another one is uh, uh, the disaster management. Kaya nga po, since... Uh, we started these uh, activities. Wala po kami naging casualty from 2013 up to now. And uh, another one is uh, 
you have to take care of the environment. And the last is tie-ups and linkages with government institutions because they have the resources. Yung pong bahay namin is fifth class municipality and nobody wanted to come in because to engage in business in an, in an island, it is more uh, expensive. 